Hello everybody and welcome to Parks and Rose. It's Drew here and today we're at SeaWorld San Diego getting an exclusive look at sharks for Shark Awareness Day. Let's go see sharks up close. So SeaWorld San Diego has invited us out for the Shark Awareness Day before the park opened to get an exclusive look at the shark encounter and even go, as you could see where those people are over there, to a special place where usually it's only available for employees. So I'm very excited to get an up close look in just a moment. a different perspective than usual. Yeah, so you guys just said the feeding area? Yes. Perfect. Yeah. So um, this is essentially on the other side. This is where we get our visuals, uh, not just on that side, but on the other side as well. Um, it gives us a good, um, we get to see both sides of the pool. Um, it's really important for aquarists to see all of our animals and be able to um, see anyone. So the way that we um, pretty much feed them is we give them um, specialty food like bonita, mullet, salmon, anything like that. We try to give them food that's based on their habitat so we don't just give them random. So amazing to go just on that side of things. I mean, that view, so cool. I mean, obviously you can get a fantastic view where I'm standing currently, which is usually where you're at if you're a guest, but I love sharks. I always have I've been a big, big, you know, fan of them for such a long time. And to be able to get that type of view, so cool, literally within inches, you know, that's, that's not something everybody gets to do. So I, I consider myself very lucky and I want to say thank you so much SeaWorld for inviting us out, but that's not all. We've got more sharks coming. So let's head down that tunnel. Here's just a little look at their meals every day. Gotta say, very cool to see their individual diets. There's not just sharks back here, even a little puffer fish with all the bonnet heads. I know a lot of people think these are like hammerhead pups, but they're actually a different species, very closely related to hammerheads. They're just quite a bit smaller. Now, if you've been through SeaWorld San Diego's shark encounter, you know how amazing it looks. I mean, there's awesome rock work, but are those teeth I see? Oh my goodness. I love the theming in this area. It's so cool. Leading down to one of the most incredible views of these species you will ever get. The rocks have turned into beautiful lights and we even get a little peek of inside the exhibit. But wait a second, where are we going now? Absolutely adore the 360 views of every single shark here, including the grouper, Bubba. We found out his name. His official name is Bubba. He's the only named shark or fish in the exhibit, actually. Yes. Pups. Shark pups. Although I know that the song Baby Shark kind of popularized that phrase. Shark pups, not baby sharks. If you're curious on the size though, I mean, maybe the length of my finger to my palm? Crazy how small they are. As we're heading out of the Shark Encounter building, this tooth is actually our free souvenir for the day. This is from a sand tiger shark from actually inside the exhibit itself. So cool. And to think that, you know, they produce 20,000 of these throughout their lifespan. Well, as we exited the Shark Encounter, they actually gave us a free drink, the Shark Tail. Fitting name, as you can see the shark gummy candy kind of hanging out in there. Very, very tasty, highly recommend. Very like lemonade forward, but there's a little bit of a splash of like coconut and lime in there. Of course, some Tito's vodka to round it all out. And of course they do, they do actually serve this all around the park at many of the bars. Well, that officially ends our little media day excursion at the shark encounter. So 
cool to get that exclusive view on that side and hopefully raise a little bit of shark awareness with some fun facts they're really amazing creatures and and you know they're, they're there is so much like false information spread about them from you know decades of different types of media showing them as like cold-blooded killers well that's just not the case they're, they're kind of like the dogs of the ocean if you will i mean heck their babies are called pups after all but again, a huge thanks to SeaWorld for inviting us out. It was so much fun just to get that view as well as some new amazing information and even a souvenir tooth. But with that said, let's head around the rest of the park. There are tons of updates since we were last year. It's been months since we've been able to visit the park. So let's go check out the new restaurants, some new construction. There's a lot going on. So this video is not over. I can tell you that for sure. Here's even a fun little fun fact sheet on the back of our lanyard. So cool that they gave us one of these. You can see tons of fun facts if you want to pause it right now and read them all. It's amazing. Some of my favorites, though, is the fact that, you know, they can produce 20,000 teeth. I mean, that's insane. That's enough speaking about sharks, at least for the current moment, though. We're going to check out its close relative, Array Manta. More specifically, let's go take a ride. Of course, while we're walking to the entrance to Manta, we're walking through the brand new and renovated restaurant in this section, Hibisco. Little Mexican restaurant. Definitely gonna check out some of its flavors maybe a little bit later today. Very excited for it. It looks so clean and brand new. This used to be Mama Stella's. This used to be the Italian joint in the park, but now serving some Mexican influenced food. Cannot wait personally. Maybe we'll get a check at the menu real quick. That's not the only new restaurant in town though. And of course, if you liked Mama Stella's, you'll probably like this Manta Pizza. Pizza by the Slice. Really, really cool. Definitely gotta check this out at some point as well. Get myself a, a pepperoni slice for $9.99 maybe. They've even got a limited time barbecue chicken slice. That's probably what I would choose but you can't really go wrong with the other three types of pizza they have. So you can actually order if you scan this little QR code. Pretty much a mobile order system. Very, very cool. And of course, Wi-Fi is available. And there is a past member discount and all day dining deal with its support coming very soon, it would seem. So no support quite yet for the mobile order. All right, that's enough talking. I hear Manta. Let's get on this amazing mock family launch coaster. Well, new update on Manta as well. The water has become blue, a deep dark blue. Really uh, pops next to the track right here. a great way to start the morning for sure so much fun manta such a fun time we did it twice two times that and also we, we did pay for a locker which lasts for two hours so you might as well use a little bit more of that especially with there being little to no weight realistically but now let's go check out some new updates on construction near the waterfront yeah it looks like they're doing a little bit of repaving work over in this section of the park looking fantastic if you ask me you can see some markings on the ground kind of line up with where they've dug up just a tiny bit. But there's also a brand new stage over here too. The Seaside Amphitheater has gotten a little bit of a facelift, you might say. Well, the waterfront is reopened. They've still got some construction going on. They actually moved the bar, at least temporarily, over to this side of things. Always a beautiful and breezy area to kind of chill out midway through your day. From the waterfront though, you can peek at the brand new stage. Really cool. They've got some like rock concerts at night, 
playing here. Really cool venue for like a rock show, not gonna lie. Of course, that's because Electric Ocean is currently going on. We're probably not gonna be able to make it tonight, but hopefully by the end of summer, we'll be able to check out Electric Ocean. Just kind of harder to get down here at nights currently for me. But with that said, let's keep walking around, see if there's any more updates. Curious, Tidal Twister sadly has not reopened. Um, at least to my knowledge, when I was last here, I was one of the few that was able to ride it during its couple days of being open. But ever since, it's been closed. It's very sad. Uh, I actually really enjoy this ride. Hopefully it reopens soon. But look at that, the Sky Tower is open. I think that's our next stop. All the way up top. Some beautiful views of Emperor making its cycles all the way around the track. Before, of course, we head over there and ride it ourselves. Also, Electric Heel seems to be running at the same exact time. We're gonna see that pop right over in just a moment. There it is. Looking crazy. So many 90 degree drops at once. So cool. As you can see, they've got a brand new stage over here for, of course, Electric Ocean happening now through August 14th. So you still got a month, actually almost to the day to check out this fun nighttime experience. Now, as we're heading over to Emperor, just wanted to mention Electric Eel posting a 60 minute wait. It is currently a Wednesday in the middle of July, the 13th more specifically. But yeah, pretty, pretty crazy to see an hour wait, but it is summer. Families are here in abundance. But we'll see uh, how long the wait for Emperor is, the brand new dive coaster. If you haven't checked it out, it's a fun one. Well, Journey to Atlantis is officially reopened and they're running the bowl at full. Oh my goodness, you will get soaked before the drop even ends at this rate. Pretty amazing if you ask me, especially on a very hot day. It's not very hot today, but I will say, probably some of the native San Diegoans are heading to the water rides because it might be a little hot for them. It's about 75. It's really not that bad, at least for someone from Orange County like me. Wow, it is so cool to see it operating. It's been a long time since I've seen that bowl running, especially with it turning off right before they come through. Oh, I even got a little wet on that one. I'm standing in a dry spot too. Well, 15 minute wait, by the way, for a journey to Atlantis. We might have to check it out, especially since it looks like the refurb did a lot. Also, I do want to mention this. Maybe I'm wrong on this, potentially, as I walk into the danger zone. This looks like newer track. Maybe they just cleaned it off or changed it with a paint job. Not entirely sure, but it looks brand new to me, at least my eye. Well, posted wait time is five minutes. It's actually a complete walk on. So we're gonna head on, get maybe a couple rides. Let's go have some fun on the brand new Emperor. getting a quick peek into wild arctic checking out some of the animals we're over by the calypso bay smokehouse and there's actually a brand new build a bear workshop i had no idea this was opening up very very cool they've even got some exclusives i gotta say that shark is pretty dang cute and fits with the topic of today's video so cool to see these popping up kind of everywhere at the parks there's one at knots that opened up just a couple of years ago as well well, one of the last new things that we have not been able to witness yet is the updated Turtle Reef. So let's go check it out. Well, they've added in some brand new windows at the front entrance. Lots more viewing opportunities for all the turtles. Well, 
So a lot of the floor has gotten a brand new update. It's looking very clean and ocean-like if you ask me. Even some UV paint being used for some theming elements. A really cool addition to the habitat is the addition of a bunch of skylights. You can see one poking in right there. As we're starting to head out of the park proper, you can see the Dryer's Ice Cream Parlor has actually opened. It looks fantastic. Love the little mural here of the octopus. And of course, the actual sign itself, the 3D texture on it, fits perfectly in the area. It literally looks like it's under the sea. If you're curious on price, it's $6 for two scoops. And for a full Sunday, $8.99. Well, that'll end our quite fun day checking out SeaWorld San Diego for, of course, Shark Awareness Day, as well as seeing all the brand new updates all around the park. There is so much going on at this park. So glad to finally get back. I know it's been quite a while since I've been here, but next, next, hopefully we'll be back for Electric Ocean and then Hollow Scream right after that. But if you haven't yet and you want to see those videos, make sure to subscribe. I'd really, really appreciate it. With all that said, though, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we'll see you on the next ride.